Why did I buy Velo? The answer is very simple. It's because I think it's one of the best projects out there. And it's not a joke, by the way, because it has the fundamentals to support this claim. You know, for instance, Velo is a blockchain-enabled financial system and decentralized settlement network that is designed to make the transfer of value between one country to another more efficient, which of course is a good thing. Now, basically, Velo, it's focused on cost-effective cross-border payments and remittances. Now, you have to take this into consideration, right? First of all, the payments market is currently valued at over $2 trillion. So that's insane. So clearly, when it comes to Velo, they have their focus in the right area. But even if we remove that, let's say we focus on the remittance part of this, right? You know, the remittance market could be so huge because, for instance, you know, according to Grandview Research, the global digital remittance market is expected to reach over $60 billion by 2030. So yeah, that's insane. And before I get into that, I actually want to explain what remittances are because, you know, for instance, right? Let's say I'm from Australia, you know, let's say for instance, and then I'm working in Japan. And then let's say my family is back home in Australia. Of course, each month if I earn my salary, you know, most likely, you know, if the individual cares about their family again, right, they're probably going to send some income back to Australia, right? In this case. So again, when I send that money back, you know, to Australia, right, when I'm working in Japan, that's basically remittances. So take that into consideration. You know, of course, a lot of people, they work abroad. There's a lot of international workers. So Again, this does need an effective solution, and that's where Velo steps in. And if we take a look at Velo initially, what were they focused on? They were focused on the Asian region, and more specifically, the Southeast Asian region. Now, I think this right here is a genius move, because if you take a look at this, according to something called BPB, in 2020, there was nearly 24 million Southeast Asians living outside their country of origin. So man, you can only imagine the amount of remittances being sent every month or every couple of weeks. It could be insane. And keep in mind, this figure, again, was back in 2020. So imagine right now in 2024, I mean, we're nearing 2025. But besides that, the number is probably a lot more. So this is how amazing, you know, the remains market is. And Velo, again, they have their sites in the right area. Now, not to mention, when it comes to Velo, they're even focused on something called CDFI. And you may be wondering, okay, what is CDFI? Basically, what this stands for is Centralized Decentralized Finance. Because we all know CFI again, centralized finance. We all know DeFi, decentralized finance. But sometimes people, they may not like one or the other because sometimes they take a look at DeFi. They're like, okay, it's kind of too rowdy, right? Too much like the wild, wild west. I personally like DeFi, but hey, some people may not like it. No, it's up to them. Some other people out there, for instance, they may not really like CFI, you know, because they're like, oh, it's too centralized. So what is a solution that's basically the best of both worlds? And no, I'm not talking about the song, hashtag Hannah Montana. I'm not talking about that. But what I'm talking about is, again, basically a combination of, you know, DeFi and CeFi. Because I think this right here could be so amazing. It's basically a middle ground approach. It takes the good aspects from DeFi and takes the good aspects from CeFi, combines the both, makes something called CDFi. This is genius because it's even been stated again, right? That fellow is really focused on this, for instance. You know, Velo has expanded beyond remittances to offer a suit of centralized, decentralized finance products that include a decentralized exchange and multi-chain bridge. So yeah, that's how amazing Velo is. But of course, it doesn't end there because when you take a look at Velo overall, it's actually very diverse. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Because you take a look at how, first of all, there's something called Quantum, a one-stop lightning speed remittance network. That's amazing. You also take a look at Universe, a multi-chain super decentralized exchange. And yeah, you heard that right. They use the word super, like in Superman. Kind of corny, kind of cheesy to some people, but hey, it's pretty much super, I suppose, right? And also you take a look at Nova Chain, an affordable universal blockchain network. That's a good bonus. You take a look at Orbit, a crypto super app. Again, they have this, you know, infatuation with the use of the word super, but hey, it is super, I suppose, again. Also on top of that, you take a look at Warp, a multi-network cross-chain bridge. So that's amazing. Now you also take a look at their stablecoin, USDV. People like to clown this though, because they're like, oh man, there's too many, you know, stable coins out there. USDT, USDC, isn't that enough? But in my opinion, who cares? You know, another stable coin? Why not? Because you take a look at how this is actually could very well be such a big thing for Vela moving forward. You take a look at how very recently Velo's involvement with BlackRock, and yeah, you heard that right, BlackRock, it's one of the biggest things out there. We pretty much, or should I say everyone pretty much knows about it. But even besides that, you know, more specifically with BlackRock's tokenized short-term treasury fund into their USDV stablecoin. So again, right, you take a look at their involvement, so to speak, 
with BlackRock in a sense through USDV. Isn't this so huge? I mean, people don't really talk about this. I don't know why, but this is such bullish news for something like Velo. It's insane to even think about in a good way, of course. Also, on top of that, you take a look at how Velo also recently had a collaboration with the Laos Bullion Bank to integrate gold into the blockchain. This is amazing stuff right here. Laos, you know, a lot of my friends say they love the place. You know, there's amazing Buddhist temples in Laos, and I really love that. So when you think about it, man, this is pretty much amazing stuff right here. This is how amazing Velo is, and it's really such a no-brainer pick for me. That's why I'm buying Velo, and I'm going to continue to buy Velo because I think it's, again, one of the best projects out there. And if you want to know my price prediction and my price targets for Velo during this bull run, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. I think you all would really love the video. It's Melanie the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm up. Peace. Bye.